The hanger steaks that you'll be receiving are, for the most part, clean. They won't have any organ meat attached to them. Just some connective tissue and fat, which you're going to want to remove as you would a normal steak if you were cleaning it. So proceed to remove that tissue from the hanger steaks. After you remove that tissue, you'll see that there's a stripe going down the center of the two steaks of connective tissue that you're going to want to cut out, making two clean steaks. This is, these are the only two steaks that are available per animal. So pull that piece out. Uh, there's nothing you can do with it. Just discard it when you pull it out. After that, continue to clean it until all the white connective tissue is gone. You may see a stripe of connective tissue down the center of each of those. Proceed to clean that out of there as well. Just pull out the, the white tissue that's too tough to eat. But don't discard the entire piece. There is still some meat there that you can use as features or, or um, in soups and things like that. There's a lot of flavor in it. So don't discard that meat, but make sure that the white connective tissue doesn't get in or into the, the usable hanger steak because it will be tough. After cleaning the two hanger steaks, you should be left with two pieces that are pretty much free of fat and connective tissue. They will have a very definite grain, as you can see on here. So make sure that when you're serving it on the plate, you're cutting against the grain. Otherwise, it'll be tough. Here is the obligatory sanitation demonstration. Make sure you're using a correct cutting board and have a sanitation solution. Each handy. hanger steak should weigh approximately 12 ounces when it's done. You'll cut that into two pieces and have two portions, approximately six ounces each. Make sure when you cut them across, you cut them against the grain, not with the grain. 